By 2015, 48% of enterprises had adopted cloud apps for their workforces, a number expected to grow considerably in the next few years. With more enterprise data being stored in the cloud every day, we wondered what happens when one user's credentials are compromised. To figure this out, our researchers created a fictitious retail bank. An employee at the bank, whom we'll call Dennis, had his username and password fished and leaked onto the web. What followed next was a torrent of activity. Over 1,400 hackers viewed the credentials on the dark web and quickly flooded Dennis's Google Drive, perusing and downloading both personal and corporate files. What they didn't know was that the BitGlass CASB had been deployed in monitor-only mode. The hackers obtained customer credit card information and a plethora of other files, everything from Dennis's mundane meeting notes to the lunch menus he had saved. Multiple users went so far as to use Google API tokens with third-party applications to crawl Dennis's files for valuable information. Encrypted files within the drive were cracked. Dennis, like many users, used the same password across websites, including his social media accounts. Hundreds of hackers found the bank's website. Hackers from over 30 countries attempted to access Dennis's bank internet account using his Google Drive credentials. The vast majority of hackers, 68%, used Tor to obscure their online identities and locations. In online forums, hackers discussed ways of compromising the bank, such as an off-the-shelf banking trojan. So how could this series of breaches be prevented? Implementation of a cloud access security broker solution would go a long way. Features such as multi-factor authentication, suspicious activity detection, and data leakage prevention policies would help prevent a case like that of Dennis and his bank. Enterprises need visibility and control of their data in the cloud.